I love hoodies. I have like 50 hoodies. <laughs> not like, no, like hoodies like that you have to zip up, you know? Like, oh, yeah, yeah, but like, like hoodies like Mistake is wearing, that's sauce. Yeah, you know? definitely, definitely pro, uh, prefer the pullovers, yeah. <laughs> I love how we're just talking about random clothing, but I want to talk about clothing. See that jersey that Blackstone is wearing? That EMG jersey? Looking clean. That's sponsorship right there. Even matchup gaming. His sponsor from Toronto. I mean, like, I'm not going to come in black in the sauce because that's a uniform, right? That's yeah. a saucy uniform, though. Yeah. The afro and everything? Also, sponsor, also sponsored by LGS, Logic Game Studios. Yeah. The double sponsor. Okay, cool. So, Town and City is the stage we're going to be going to. Kind of scary, honestly. I, I love I love Town and City and Dubs, though. But, like, because... You know, if you're against the... Uh, Bayonetta... Cloud... Yeah, Wait, this is Smashville. Oh, this is definitely Town and City. Oh, bunch check. Okay, cool. Yeah. Boy, if you don't... Yeah, so they, they, they are going to uh, Town and City regardless, but... You can see Blackfoot's controller flashing like crazy. Trying to figure it out. But yeah, as many people may not know, Black Twins 13, we we won't nunchuck players. You know? Definitely not very common, you see, but very few players do play with it. But uh, he's number one in Ontario using it, so it definitely shows that you don't always have to have a big piece of to be able to play. Jeez, just this Cloud's dying. It truly is. Uh, yeah, Cloud, when he dies, he yells. Here. He yells so loud. Oh, oh wow, Infinity oh, did you see rubbing that? up his hands. See how fast that was? Yo, that was trying to spark speed. some flames, yo. He's like, we can't lose this grand finals if I set a fire. Trying to spark the flames with the ashy hands. Good stuff. Ooh. Those hand warmers from uh, Krim. Yo, these guys are taking it serious, man. Yo, jeez, look at that, man. Okay, we're going to get, get those. Props, and now we know we're actually in there. Those really awkward. <laughs> And, and like whatever, literal hand warmers though. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna get game one, Town and City. Definitely my favorite stage for dubs because anything can happen. Okay. Wow, and just I like how he like literally just brute force through it to get the fourth kill, man. Like he did not care that he was gonna Wow, that double limit cross slash. What are you doing? Not, not limit, sorry, the regular cross slash. Crazy pressure. Jeez, Almost breaking like, shields. That was in sync too. That was really fun to watch. Yeah. It, it, if they didn't uh, poke shield, they definitely would have broke it. Break, broke it. Real shenanigans. Oh, they're out of shield. Good stuff. Again, honestly, like the way that Infinity and Black are looking so just dominating in winners finals. I don't know how Crim Boyce and uh, Mistake are going to take this one back. That being said, the set in, grand, uh, in winners finals actually did go to game five. So who knows? Oh. Okay. Good fair. Oh, okay. another fair. Okay. Right to the banana. Honestly, destroys that poor. That banana had no chance. Yeah. Ooh, that S oh. Ooh. Oh. Okay. I know. That was a whole lot of nothing there <laughs> by me. But seeing that SDI out of F smash but to up smash punish yeah. to up air punish, that was the most wild and thin I've seen this entire game. Yeah, that was actually really good. Because, uh, Mistake, and we've seen a double cross slash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mystic, you know, really good on uh, catching that uh, the up smash. He just realized that the opponent was about to fall out, so good stuff on him. But, oh, no punish. We're going to go for that double side B. Oh, Mystic will land with a lot of lag. Oh, okay. Just a man. And right now, honestly, Red Team looking like they're in the driver's seat. Right? I think it's team for a ride. But Krim Foyish's stock stocked, does not look healthy. That being yeah. said, we do know how good he is at stock teching. Oh, as, never mind. Yeah, like, <laughs> the regular. <laughs> I don't mean to do this. Yeah, it's Let's definitely see. not. An, oh! Okay. Blackton's almost losing his stock early there. Oh, yeah. Blackton's going to save Infinity. He didn't realize he had a limit. Honestly, I love Infinity's reaction time there. Able to react to the down smash that Blackton's got and go for the extra follow up to just get the extra damage. Yeah. Okay, really good spacing from uh from Blackburn with that back with that uh back there. Jeez, that cross slash and he SDI is out of it? Yo. Things have been going on this set. Yeah. And it's only game one. Okay. 
painful. It's a, oh, that, really good. That skewer. Whenever I see that skewer, I know it's painful. I know it hurt. He, he stabbed you and then rised it up yeah. with the sword inside you. Yeah, he definitely reacted perfectly to that roll. Wow, this damage. This thing just came off a fresh stock and already at 73. Oh, wow. That up tilt going to take the stock. And although it's not looking very good for Red Team here, you never know. But Blue Team looking very dominant. And what used to be a game that looked like Red was going to take. Oh, follow-ups. Uh, just an up air. And the oh, cross slash going to take it. Yeah. Definitely love, you don't need to go for the... Uh, the uh, finishing touch at that point, so it's just a lot better to go for that. Limber cross slash is guaranteed to stop. Oh, this could be it. Jeez. That was a pretty wild game one. It really looked like they were playing tug of war for who had the lead. Yeah, it was, it was really back and forth. Yeah, at first scary. it started off, black, uh, blue team started really strong, then it was red team. And then again, back to blue team. And we oh. fought 7,777 battles. Wow. Team battle. Now we're going to Town City, it seems. Back here. Yep. Uh, I guess this really was Red Team's uh, first choice, then, if that's the case. It seems like they only banned Lila. Yeah, Lila, one of those stages in dubs, especially, it, it's, it, it can be really scary because you can lose stocks so easily. A lot of jank that does, a lot of jank does go on, go on on that stage, so it's just kind of, it's kind of iffy. You don't want to, you don't want to lose that to jank there. And something I've noticed that Mystic hasn't been doing this set. He hasn't been going for the, way, uh, the witch time, you know? Like, he's got a lot of witch times back in the early sets, but lots of witch this time. I think he kind of knows that blue team is prepared to deal with witch time, and they and they won't really fall for it either. That's a really good uh, conditioning by blue team, though. Make it, what? Oh, no, no, do another it. one? Oh! That would have been oh, so get stop. wild. If he actually got the initial hitbox for the up that might have killed Crimson. Yeah. Uh, I actually, I actually really like that he went for the up though, because he realized that he wasn't in the right position to get the side B. Yeah. So he he reacted immediately and gets, got the up beat. Ooh, that helps smash though. Gonna take it. Oh. Really good team play there. Yeah, see? That's what was read that uh, Mistake was going to go for that witch time there, and uh, just did the yeah. only the initial hit of the up beat. Didn't let it rip. You know? Didn't let it happen. Yeah. And right now, two separate 1v1s on the stage. Except now, yeah. Clouds have taken over. Yeah, but Infinity is doing really well in juggling. Oh. I really like that reach from Blackwoods, but it's not top. Because the stake. Wow. Ooh. Really good stuff from Krim right there, actually. And wow, they're really reaching. They really don't want to like, get Bayo here. Yeah, Blackwoods, you know, hitting him with the initial hit, I'll be knocking him out of there, saving. Ooh, that forward hit. Yeah, Blackwoods, honestly, from what I'm seeing, he is kind of fair heavy. Which, uh, it gets kind of surprises us. It yeah. gets in the stock. It's one of those moves you don't really expect to, to see too often from from Clouds because it is quite laggy, but he does have a huge hitbox and that's why hitbox as well. And he's been utilizing it well, so good stuff on him. Well, right now we do have a slightly even, we do have a slightly even game here. You know, red team they still in the lead because Crim Boyish at zero percent strong, but this could be bad. Well, Blackwood definitely wants that gift. And all this, all these cross -ups. Oh, and Finny has to use his limit there, unfortunately. Oh, that up air. Yeah. That's the one thing, is that if you're throwing out those hitboxes so often, you might just hit your teammate and that could be a stock. It's really integral in doubles that you do not just press buttons all willy nilly. Yeah. You're especially not in the middle of a crit bubble. Because then that's like, you're probably going like, to get your teammate killed. So yeah. when your teammate is such a, a, a kill percent too, it's just unfortunate. So you're not getting these follow-ups, and that cross is not going to do it. Uh, these follow-ups have been actually really amazing, you know, if you're getting the soft spot of, uh, of up air, but still gets that percent, so it works out. And now we have an even game again, but that might be Ooh. something big! Oh, no. barely living. Even with Town and City's uh, blossoms. Yeah. That limit probably saved them. Yeah, probably. Ooh, doesn't let him have it. Really good stuff to Aaron or Black Twins to realize exactly what the red team was planning. Oh, doesn't actually line up the upper just right. And 
now Mistake on the prowl, on the hunt, to make sure his stock does not get taken. And one thing you'll notice from Blue Team is that whenever whenever Curve Voice leaves a banana, he, they won't really go for it because they know that they don't really benefit much off banana anyways. So you're kind of just letting it go, they don't really need it. And now, honestly, all it takes here is just a grab to finish your touch, and now all, that's all she wrote. Yep. Ooh, it's going to be big. Oh, that's it. Catches really, the air dodge. Yeah, that was a really good air dodge catch. Uh, but I don't know what Crimp Force could have done there. You either oh, get hit by back air or die. Infinity, honestly, really, break, good, that was really good break off performance today. Yeah. Like, really good break Especially off performance. Like in he's, yeah. he's been playing so well today. And Infinity basically told Crimp Force right there, you either die or die, dude. Yeah, you have no choice. It's die or you die. You have no choice. That's and Crimp Force was like, guess I'll die. Yep. <laughs> he, cho he chose one of the options that was given to him, and that, that was literally it. See, mistakes stay Bayonetta. Oh, zero suit, never mind. Okay, he will be going zero suit. Something you were talking about earlier, yeah, you know, yeah. him going zero suit. Yeah, finally actually pulls out uh, his original girl out. His first wife, his first love. His best girl, yeah. Oh, we're going to run it back to town yet again. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not too sure about this pick myself because I feel like zero suit does have a little bit of trouble with Cloud. And seeing two of them, you know, she, her, her neutral being being kind of kind of really grab heavy, and if she and the fact that Black Twins and, and uh, Infinity do have that really good punish game, if she does look for grab, she could really get punished really hard and possibly lose stock. So. Yeah, especially at high percent, like that yeah. could be a really dangerous opportunity or a really dangerous thing to go for. Oh, and again, these reaches by Infinity, he's using that up B pretty effectively actually, but he's always getting punished for it. Yeah. So is it really a good thing to do? He's getting damage, but also. Gaining damage in the process. That's gonna be something big. Oh, the double roll. Fakely doesn't catch his uh, teammate on the two frame there. And that's one thing that uh, Left and the City really have to capitalize, especially on the ZSS switch, is that if you let ZSS live with rage. Oh, wow. The air. That was a really Never good mind. choice for Kimpoish. Yeah, actually, Red Team off to a really good start. Yeah, I think this uh, switch to Zero to Samus was definitely the way to go. Ooh, that fourth smash. Catches landing with the air dodge into the ground. And they've just been throwing that out, actually. It's like the forward smashes. Like, yeah. I don't know if there's many rhymes to reason already, but they've been working. Oh, Infinity is really dealing with Mistake right now. Ooh! That was a nice uh, stage snipe. And now, Black is only on his last stock. I wonder. Ooh, that up smash. Not gonna take it. But right now, Mystic actually not looking very healthy. If they close out the stock, it could be an even game. Which is why it's entangled that Mystic really doesn't lose the stock. And he's doing a good job oh. not making sure, like, he's not the one that gets the stock wrong. Questionable Zara up in the air there, but. Yeah, it gets double uh, sword, dude. <laughs> <laughs> he got destroyed there. Fuck yeah. <laughs> there you go. Again, it feels right at M game, man. He gets out of there, good stuff from mistake. That's the thing with Blue Team, they're really good with their pressure. Yeah, but also Red Team, really good at forcing them out. There have been countless limits I've seen having to go to the RP. Ooh, what? what? He's <laughs> Did my eyes just deceive me? What is this trickery? Okay, so one clown decides to go Remember cross Ash hits the other club, but it kind of cancels out and he just falls out. That was really weird. I've never seen anything like that before. Okay, and now Black Twins at 82%. He's holding him to a stock. But other than that, pretty even oh, game. Oh, wow. Mistake almost died at 30%. And, oh, that could have been something huge for Mistake and Red Team as a whole. But both these clouds do have limit. You know, anything can happen. Yeah, especially with Mistake already being at 60%. Oh, what oh. are you doing, boy? He definitely caught him in shield there. He, Yo, that was actually pretty wild. He got him scared. That might be something big. Infinity to the rescue, though. Not letting him mistake it too big of a punish. Oh. No follow-up. Yeah, Infinity there. Just making sure, like, what you gonna do, fam? <laughs> yeah. You really gonna mess with my buddy? Oh, what? and Black Twins just kind of wasting his limit there. Oh, no, baby. What is you doing? Oh, almost gets it, catches the two frame with that down That should be big. Really good set to Crimp Foish. Mm. Making sure his partner does not get defeated there. Oh, bolt on his stock, and it looks like they're going to live to see another game. Oh, wow, that fair, but text it. Ooh, that was a really smart nair choice by Blackwinds. Wow, Blackwinds. Get off me option. Oh, that's going to be it oh, for sure. That, be it, yeah. that was up throw, right? Yeah, that was definitely up was up throw, yeah.
at that position with all that percent, doesn't matter. Really good game by Red Team. Really showing uh, just what they're made of. And the mood lighting changing. It really is nighttime. Currently 2.22, Toronto, Canada. Looking to see this grand final set. Looking good so far, you know. Crazy stuff going on. I'm really liking the follow-ups from both teams. That's one thing that's been really pivotal in why they're in grand finals, that they're able to get some crazy follow-ups that some other teams just aren't able to get too often. So. They can't mess with it, you know? Yeah. <laughs> The red team really looking like they want a chance of redemption here. They want the set, they want the tournament. And that switch to 0 6 is really been making it look like it's possible for them. Yeah, that switch from um, double downer. Oh. Yeah, you see, definitely flopping there, trying to get that uh, instant tether from. Oh, these up airs. Wow. Mystic actually reading that dare, but he's able to punish from Infinity. Ooh. An aggressive fair coming from Black Twins yet again. Ooh. Okay. Good forward throw to up smash. Really Ooh, that was a nice forward smash. Oh. I kind of out of Sorry. Honestly, just clapping on his shield. And honestly, it's pretty... So far, this entire set, or at least since the stage switches here to Tamus, all the games have been pretty even. Ooh, really Ooh, good follow-up. Stairway to heaven again. Caught him up in the air again. Reminded me of the double Ness and Lucas up airs, you know, like those heads. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The bobble heads, though. Wow, the double cross slash, pretty wild option, but actually does manage to get both of the red team players in there. Oh, what are you doing, baby? <laughs> That'd be scary because Black Twins decided to normal get up there, but well, good thing that uh, Infinity did not decide to let it rip. Wow, Black Twins with that amazing reaction time, dares them and then reads the tech roll. Wow, mistake able to up to out of that jab one and gets the sock for it. Up to actually usually kills around 140. Yeah, definitely a, a really quick kill option at higher percents. Wow, oh. that was uh, something. Infinity <laughs> Mistake definitely should have died there, but he got saved by what looks like to be the other yeah. blue team. And that really greedy LB, you know, de definitely don't want to be swinging like that when you're at 160% because you can get punished extremely hard and lose your stock. And Black Twins 13, these foreigners. Yeah, he's, he's wilding out with these. He just, he'll, he'll toss them out. And another up there for blue. Oh, and it's looking really good for blue team. Looking to take this 3-1. Not unless Red Team has something to say about it. Remember, Blue Team may be on their second stocks, but they're still at very high percent. Yep. Red Team still can make a comeback. Oh, oh that's good. That was a really good up out of cheap by Mystique. He you know, realizes the positioning, everything. He says, you look like a bucket, and just up him. Yeah, and a lot of times when, when, when you go for that up when someone's at really high percent, sometimes they fall out. But luckily he doesn't. He's able to get all those hits, especially that last one. And Mystic take that really, really trying hard for these down beast spikes, and he knows he needs to be quick and easy. They need a really clutch moment right now. But right now, Ooh, okay. Red Team looking kind of weak here. Not like play-wise, but just like health-wise. Yeah, that's true. A few more hits. Oh, that dare. Oh, wow, blue team's really swinging right oh, now. Yo, what? red team firing back. Oh, oh my gosh. Too far out. And he's at relatively low percent too, around like maybe 80 ish. Lower than Crim Forge, that's for sure. But Crim Forge definitely wants to focus around Infinity, because if he can take that stock, he can have that run with uh, Black Twins and possibly, po possibly cut it out. This is definitely not impossible, though. Ooh, really good spot dodge. Oh, and that should be it. And that will be it. Black Twins and Infinity. Your doubles grand Black finals Black champion for the come up 2017. Yep. A big round of applause coming from the cloud. Uh, so yeah. From the crowd. The <laughs> cloud. <From> the cloud. <laughs> <laughs> Too much cloud today, man. So that's a tournament, I guess. Uh, the doubles tournament, at least. Are we so happy to see double cloud winning in doubles? Real teams, <laughs> dog. Double cloud winning dubs. Who would have thought? I hope you guys all enjoyed that. You know, like.
Yeah. It was actually just really good stuff coming from both teams, but the uh, PK kids. Yeah. Uh, we had a lot. We had a lot of fun times. Okay? Yeah. It was. Uh, it was actually.